Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys my latest 20 and 0 custom tactics formations. I'll be showing you how to set them up, all the instructions, type of players you want in it, and talking about how to use them in game. Use them literally just this weekend. We got myself a shiny new King Kimmich. And we'll say fantastic frimpong. I was already using them, so we just added them to my red picks. Um, and also got a Will Diaba. If you can hear screaming in the background, that's my nearly two year old son. <laughs> um, so, yeah, made pretty good coins. I think I made about 700,000 coins plus some decent untradables. What have you guys been tending to get from Weekend League? I wish the rewards were as good as they were before, but it's not bad. Um, I wish they would add things like shapeshifters, icons, all that. But I've always said Weekend League should be the current promo. What do you guys think would be a good way of making Weekend League more rewarding, more worth your time? I think another thing is for the higher ranks, they could add like minimum like uh, ratings. So say for the red picks, you could only get 94 plus on two of them if you was able to, um, what you call it, get 16 wins or something. Just ways to reward people for getting higher ranks ways to make the game more worthwhile playing in terms of the team i used if we go through it allison he's just a keeper who's all right delete my favorite center back in the game i think he is the best center back in the game at the moment just in terms of how he plays martinez was fantastic up there for best center back rapid he caught like team near mbappe with ease great in the air really good on the ball and just very dominant one of my favorites i've used frimpong very good, a little bit weak and small though, so he does get bullied at times. Um, you don't really need heading on this game, so it doesn't matter, but he's a bit small. This Zinchenko is very good, but the pace split's a bit bad, so he does get outpaced a little bit. He doesn't feel like crazy physically dominant like some of the other guys, but he's good. I was playing 4 3 1 2, you'll see that when we get to the formations. Kimmich was the anchorman, very, very good. Doesn't feel too weak. Um, like he doesn't have crazy strength or bad strength. It's just in the middle, really. But his passing ability on the ball is fantastic. Gavardiol, I used in the box to box role. He was on four chemistry, so not as good as he four chemistry. I wish. What would he even four chemistry do? like double the boost of three? Um, he wasn't like um getting the full boost basically that you get from free chemistry. He was still insane. Um, really, really good. Didn't get many goals, but got quite a few assists. But I don't use my centre mids to shoot that often. Um, but yeah, he's very good. You could tell he wasn't insane on the ball, but very, very good card. Um, Saka, I was using him as the other centre mid. Burkamp, a guy from the Icon SBC. Honestly, Burkamp, I don't think is a very good card. Um, I bet people um glad they didn't grind to get a Burkamp card earlier before. Um... This Burkamp, he's okay. That's about the best I can say about him. Like, I didn't love him, didn't hate him. Maybe with an engine, he'd feel a bit better because he'd be really good on the ball then. Because um, you don't get much of a shooting boost from a hunter. But he needs the pace, really. But yeah, that Burkamp wasn't as good as I hoped for. Richarlison, very good. Was playing him out wide in the 4-3-2-1. Um, one of the best value cards in the game. Brazilian. Shame he hasn't got striker. And then Neuer. Neuer was fantastic over a goal again before he even gets assists. Um, but you'd hope so for me, striker in the 4 3 2 1. Insane physicals. Very, very good. He is a little clunky. You can tell he's not insane on the ball. That's fair enough at 6 4 with less than 90 agility. But he was a great card. Now let's get to the tactics. So, we had four set up. I don't think I even had to go to my ultra attacking once. That's the 3 4 2 1. I'll very quickly show you. I only go to this late on in a game if I'm losing. It's one of these. It's high risk, high reward. You could get absolutely bad when you switch this, but I've also had games where it looked like they were over and I've managed to <coughs> bring myself back into it. So, 3 4 2 1. You basically just want it set up with your more defensive mind midfields in the middle, your best defenders at the back. If one of your fullbacks, the best one going forward out wide your best attacking midfielder out wide as well then your front three is still your front three constant pressure 100 depth fairly obvious but you want to go all out attack so you need constant pressure and high depth on instruction stay central game behind stay forward just trying to get the ball and just get forward quick i do put comeback on defense on the left mid and right mid 
at the end of the day, we need them to still defend. Oh, I need a nap this afternoon, potentially, boys. Too much work. Stay wide, getting behind. Makes a big difference, pending teams back. And then balanced cover centre on the centre mids. Default on the rest of the team. In terms of our all-out defence tactic, I'll show you that. Don't really use it often. I only really use this if I'm getting pressed really aggressively and I'm struggling to hold on late on or I just want to be more defensively sound. They might be using a formation where they're overloading me, um, overlapping fullbacks, things like that. If they're doing that and they're pressing me hard, I might switch to this just to make myself a lot more defensively sound. I'd set it up like this. Again, if back four, you just put the most offensive ones in the middle. Put one of the fullbacks to wing back. I put Saka out of my midfielders into the other wing back because he's the most likely fullback, especially in terms of build. Um, defensive style, balanced. I wouldn't even ever go drop back anymore. It used to be really good, but I just don't think it does a lot anymore. 30 width, 35 depth, balanced, direct passing for my offense. 70 whip. I like to have high whip when I'm playing all out defense, allows me to beat the press. Players in box to three. Instruction stay central, game behind, stay forward. I have one of the center mids on stay back, balance on the other. Come back on defense, stay wide, game behind on the left and right mid, then stay back on the wing backs. If it was going to be a more aggressive 5 4 1 that you'd use for the most of the game, I would have the wing backs on balanced overlap. Oh, pardon me with the yawning. I didn't think I was too tired before I did this video, but can't stop. So this is the 4 3 2 one. I have it set with the most offensive midfielder in the middle. He's going to anchor the team. Generally speaking, left footer on the left, right foot on the right. It doesn't matter when they've got five star weak foot, but that it does a little bit, I guess, in terms of the outside the foot, Travellers, but it's not a big deal. Early in the year, it mattered more, but now we have a lot of five star weak foots. And then the front three. You should be putting Richarlison up front in this team. He's 5-5. Five, five. He's the best of these three attackers. It's just more so a case of I wanted to test Neuer around and have a bit of fun with him. Tactics, 40 width, 50 depth. Balanced, direct when it comes to the chance creation. Direct passages pins team or pins teams back. Makes it a lot harder for them to defend. I don't want to go too crazy on the whip for players in box. Now this is important on the instructions. One of your um, attackers needs to be on comeback on defence and balanced width. The other two are stay central, stay forward. Your middle striker can't be on comeback on defence. That's for one of the outside ones. Whichever one is on comeback on defence, the opposite midfielder needs to be on cover wing. So, Saka is on cover wing because Burkamp's on comeback on defence. If Richardson was on comeback on defence, Cavardi would be on cover wing. Basically, you do that to set your defense up or look your team up when you're defending like a 4-4-2. Very good formation defensively. So you can see the tactics. Stay back cover center on the more defensive midfielder. Balanced on both of the um, center mids. But whichever one's going to be opposite the comeback on defense forward, you put cover wing. Stay back on one of the fullbacks and then whichever side the comeback on defense forward is, you put balanced overlap on that right back or left back. For the more aggressive tactic, the instructions are exactly the same. It is literally based just a few changes. The biggest being press after possession loss and 80 depth. You want to put the depth up a lot because you want to make it a lot harder for your opponent to keep the ball. Press after possession loss makes it very hard when they get the ball or win the ball back to keep it straight away because you're basically all out press seven seconds. Hopefully this video has helped you. Um, if you want to see me do a gameplay video showing the tactic, I've done a lot of them this year, but if people want to see that, do let me know. Appreciate the support as always. Keep it spicy. See you guys in the next one. Peace.